All right, Bo. Rough uh, semifinals for the Buckeyes last night. Oh, as, as high school teammate Nick Rosetta, yeah. both took third. Uh, yeah. You battle back, man, and, and it, this is just this is hard stuff. You lose in the semis to your cousin, yeah. and you battle back for third place. Team stuff's going crazy right now. You guys are trying to take a, a team trophy back to Ohio State. What's it mean to you to take third? Uh, you know, it, it meant a lot to me, all for the fact that. I just I wanted to do it because I knew I should, you know. Um, to be honest, my motivation, it wasn't there. You know, first match, I was like anything away from anyone, but first match I walked out there, I just felt like I wasn't even there, you know. I was just kind of like wrestling, just, just a drone. And then for third and fourth, Tom got me going a little more, just said like, you know, I, just, I wanted to be in the finals. I wanted another shot at Derringer. I wanted to be my cousin, but that didn't happen, so it's time to come back and get tough. So it was, it was tough mentally today, uh, com coming back through. You know, I started feeling sorry for myself, and so I'm pretty emotional right now. It just uh, feels good to, to still get it done in, in spite of things. So. What'd your dad say to you after that tough loss? You know, Mickey loses a tough match in the round of 12. I know that one hurts you probably more than any loss you've ever taken. Yeah. Mick, is, you know, you guys love each other. You're brothers. What's your dad say to you guys? How does he, what's, you know, does he just let the coaches do the coaching? Or does he talk to you as a dad? Uh, for, for, from, for a little bit, he tried to do the coaching uh, when we first got to college. But I think he's learned that we're in great hands here, you know. And uh, when I went up last night, I was upset. You know, I was tearing up and because I wanted to win too. But, uh. You know, he just told me, he's like, hey man, I love you. I'm never disappointed in you. And that's kind of broke down, you know. <laughs> it's getting so emotional, but uh, he told me that and I was pumped about it. So. Is your daughter here? Yeah, daughter's here. So, wife and daughter are both here. And uh, that was what was good last night, uh, even though I lost. Uh, you know, I went up, said hi to my wife and daughter, and, and that was awesome, you know, have them. And uh, I just sent a text to Zeke last night, told him, uh, you know, I loved him. If it wasn't even me, I'm happy it's him, you know. So uh, he uh, texted me right back, said, "Hey man, I love you. Glad you texted me. He didn't know whether to send me a text or not, and uh, you know everything's good. So nothing changes just because uh, he beat me in a wrestling match. And there's a lot harder things in life than getting beat in a wrestling match, you know. So just a little emotional right now because it was tough today mentally to get back into it, but I did. Well, oh, and you had a teammate like uh, Tomasello did the same thing coming back through. Yeah. And everything. I mean, let's talk about the pride of Ohio State. You guys are national champs last year, and this year you won't be national champs, but you're right there. And yeah, you know, it looks like it's going to be a consistent deal. Huh? Yeah, I mean, as long as we have the have guys doing the right things um, in and outside of wrestling, I think we've always got we've always got a shot. You know, if you have good guys doing the right things, you've always got a chance no matter what. So. Uh, I feel like that's what, where, where we're heading, and Thomas Ella did an amazing job. I know it killed him, you know, losing. I mean, he's going for a second as a sophomore, and I mean, he's a beast. He came all the way back and got third, too, against a really tough guy. And the one, one thing I got to say, though, is my brother, uh, Mickey, uh, after he lost, you know, I felt bad. My stomach was like sick when I went out there for my for my uh, quarters match. But um, I mean, I beat again. Uh, I've always felt like he's been the older brother, you know, but that time, Mickey was the older brother and he came up to me and even though she'd been kind of pouting and feeling sorry for himself, he came up to me and was like, hey man, I love you. You can do it, get it done. And uh, kind of picked me back up, you know, after I lost in the semis. So um, even though he didn't place, I know, he, I mean, heck, on a good day, he could have won the thing. It's like, he was, he was doing that for me. So uh, I'm in a great place here at Ohio State. Got all the best guys and best coaches, so I'm happy. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being, you're pro we're probably going to be off the scale with this one, but scale of 1 to 10, how bad do you want Isaac to beat Derringer tonight? Off the scale. <laughs> yeah, if, he if he can't beat me, I want him to win. You know, I love him. He's my cousin. He's my blood at the end of the day. He's beat me four times. I haven't got him yet, but we're competitors. We're wrestling each other, but we're also cousins. I love him, and uh, hope he wins tonight. So Congratulations, guys. Yeah. Love watching you. Thanks. Appreciate it.